Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, welcome back to the subject of Machine Design 1. In our last video, we have seen important formulation and the design aspects of the seek lamp with the power screw application. In this particular video, we are going to start the numerical based on it. The problem statement is there in front of you. You can see design a double star screw with square threads. Now these are the specified specifications so we need not to choose them separately. Second thing is force applied by the clamp is 5 kN. So the application force is 5 kN. The next is force by operator is 250 N. The operator who is going to work with this device is going to apply a maximum of 250 N. Then comes the material. They have already specified the materials for our assembly. One is plain carbon steel for the screw and grey cast iron for the nut. Now the specific values are already mentioned. Next thing is factor of safety. They have specified factor of safety to be 2 in our case. An important declaration they have given is unit breaking pressure for plain carbon steel and grey cast iron is between 13 to 17 newton per millimeter square. So there comes the important material property between two different materials. So with this data let us look at the problem diagram. They have also provided us the problem diagram. So design of C-clamp with frame numerical one. So this is how your diagram is all about where this is the main frame There comes this whole body which is called your screw. There comes this section, this is called collar and this section is your nut. There comes your hand wheel and the handle for it. So that is how the bifurcation of the whole assembly is given to us with certain dimensions also. Now there are two important aspects like we have already specified this we need to design power screw and we need to design nut separately but as far as power screw is concerned there are again two different sections because there is an additional part which is called collar. So when we go for the section of this power screw there are two sections possible. The first section will call AA in which there is no collar present and the section BB where the part of collar will be present and that's why we need to design the given part separately for both these sections separately. So this is how the diagram is given and this is what the collar part is all about. This is where the object will be placed which will experience a maximum force of 5 kN. This is the handle at which the maximum operator pressure or the maximum operator force of 250 N will be applied. So let us move ahead with the numerical solving part. Let us begin with the design of screw. We know that the screw may fail under compressive stress or it may fail under systematic forces which are being applied. So the compressive stress can be applied in this manner. Now there is a lower part of the screw on which nut is placed and exactly below that the object is placed. So in between these two, this lower part of screw will experience the compression and that's how we need to define it. So let's go for material selection. We have already been given the materials. We need to define the properties. We know that for screw, the material given is PCI. And we know that for PCI, this is the yield stress given. And hence, allowable value of yield stress will become 330 divided by FOS. We also know that FOS value is given 2. So that makes the allowable value as 150. And hence, One sixty-five Newton per millimeter square. Last but not the least, we need to consider the shear factor also, and hence the shear value allowable becomes half the yield stress value allowable, and hence it becomes one 
So this is what the material property, important material properties are listed down. Let's move ahead. There comes the very first factor which is called core diameter. Now core diameter is going to subject it the compressive stress and the relation is very straightforward. We know that now for most of the ductile materials, the compressive values and the tensile values are same. And that's why we can say sigma C is equal to sigma yield or sigma tensile. Now let us go for the allowable value. So we'll say sigma allowable which is 165 newton per millimeter square let's substitute the values the load we have been given is 5 kilo newton it makes it 5000 newton and when we solve this expression we get dc value as so once we solve this expression we will get the value somewhere around 6.2 millimeter if you look at this we can go for the preferred series and we'll say this is seven millimeter but now this is a very small diameter and we need to consider certain aspects and which are need of enhancement of dc or the dimensions now you'll understand that apart from the compressive load there are some torsional loads and there are some bending loads which are going to act on this particular screw and that's why we need to consider this enhancement or the additional part of this particular diameter so let us assume that the diameter is larger than that we have found out and therefore let now we know that dc or matlab core diameter and the mean diameter and the outer diameter inner diameter these are already correlated dimensions right so considering them in separate manner we will enhance the value and we will consider that the mean diameter is having certain value and let us say the mean diameter is of 22 millimeter now this is again a preferred value you can refer to phd data book 5.42 You can refer to the power screw sections and then you can select the preferred value. So this is one of the preferred values along with which the pitch length or the pitch is given as 5. So this is what a standard selection we have. Let me mention that this enhancement is done. to take up torsion and bending so there comes the standard selection we already know that d mean is equal to of course a standard relation that we have let me mention that and this is the pitch now let's move to the standard relation that we know the mean diameter is equal to 19.5 millimeter ahead of which we can find out the length now if you refer to the problem statement properly they have given us the double start of this screw and hence the lead that is the distance covered by one time screw or one revolution is equal to twice the pitch because it's a double start screw apart from this there are many standard relations but we don't need them as of now we can solve them afterwards for the finalization so this is what the important finding we have and this also is an important finding that we have let's move ahead this we already know and that makes it 19.5 this has become 14 the next important parameter that we need to find out is alpha alpha is given by this particular relation let us substitute the values as we solve this relation we'll get value of alpha somewhere around 9.271 degree so this is our first finding next thing is the coefficient of friction now we know that the materials that we have selected for them coefficient of friction lies between this range 
So let us go for a standard selection or you can say a random selection and say let mu is equal to 0.15. You need to remember that it's a random selection and you can vary the value depending upon which your answer will change slightly. But you have to mention it always. We also know that there is a relation that tan phi is equal to mu where phi is the angle of friction we already have taken the value of mu as 0.15 after solving this relation we will get somewhere around degree and that's what our important findings are out let's move ahead with the solution we know that due to application of load in different manner and due to the structure or due to the dimensions of the given body there is the differentiation of the torques which are going to act on this particular object so let us name them as t1 and t2 where t1 is because of torsional shear and t2 is because of color friction as we add them that is going to be the maximum value of torsion which is going to act on this particular assembly let's substitute the values we know that it's 5 kilo newton as we solve this expression we'll get the value of t1 15,653 point something Newton millimeter. Let's move ahead to the second type of shear or second type of torsion that is going to act on this body. Again the load. Now we know that this particular thing is nothing but or this particular section let me highlight it. This particular section is nothing but the mean radius. You can work it out diameter outer plus diameter inner divided by 2 will give me the mean diameter divided by 2 further will give me the mean radius so it is basically dm by 2 and in that case we can erase out 4 we already know that friction is 15.15 so as we solve ahead this particular expression we will get the answer equal to 15.15. So there we come across two important parameters which are acting on this particular screw body. Using this we are going to develop the screw idea or the screw formulation in the next lecture and then we will find out the desired dimensions of the screw and we will prove that it is safe against the strength. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to Ikeda.